Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through the reasons why I chose Unreal over the Unity engine. Also, at the end of the video, I'm going to cover which one I think you should choose as a beginner in 2021. So let's just get straight into it. Okay, first, a little bit of an explanation. So when lockdown first hit, I took a Udemy course, which is all about programming in Unity using the C-sharp language, and I did really enjoy it. And then after finishing the course, I moved over to YouTube, and there was like various like YouTubers like Brackies and Sebastian Lake who were doing uh, videos on Unity. And I followed these and it helped me create some small projects like top-down shooters and just like little things like that. I then started working on my own idea, and I got to the bit where I was trying to create art for it, and I realized that I suck at Blender. So I decided going forward, I really wanted to work on learning the 3D side of it and the art side of it before I carried on learning programming, because I wanted to kind of have both sets at a good kind of level. So then I spent the summer of 2020 learning uh, more about Blender and how to use it. I started with the infamous donut tutorial and then moved on to the CG Boost videos, which I would highly recommend. CG Boost have a paid course and a free course. The links to those are in the description. Um, and I've also put a card up here, which links to kind of the best resources I think that beginners should use to learn 3D. Then after I got comfortable with 3D and thought like, okay, I know what I'm doing. Uh, I'm not an expert, but I, I've got a kind of a grasp of how this works and how it ties into uh, games design. So after that, I decided to learn kind of more about the programming side and get back into the games to start making some games. But I had a choice to make. Did I go back to learning Unity? Um, and because it had been quite a while, I'd have to kind of, I'd have had to go back through the Udemy course. I could probably skip parts of it. And because I hadn't kept it up, I kind of forgot some of the programming stuff. Or do I try learning Unreal? Um, and I was kind of swayed by the fact that they'd bought out mega scans because I thought I love doing the art, but if I can have really high quality photo real assets for free that I can use, then I mean, that is a bit of a game changer. And obviously Unreal, if you make a game in the Unreal Engine and publish it on the Epic Game Store, uh, the royalties that you have to pay on that game back to Epic are quite small. So with that in mind, I thought I'm gonna give Unreal a shot and then at least I've tried both and I can decide which one's for me. So off back to Udemy I went and I did uh, two more courses there. Um, the first one was a programming C++ course and I did really enjoy that course and I learned a lot from it, but C++ just makes me want to pull my hair out, especially coming from, I hadn't, I hadn't had that much programming knowledge and C Sharp was quite a bit of, quite easy to work with and I understood it. But C++, man, the pointers, null pointers, stuff was cr crashing, the compile times were so long, and it just seemed so unintuitive compared to C Sharp. And it did seem a lot more prone to crashing as well. Uh, there's so many times I've just lost lots of work from Unreal because I hadn't set up source control and it'd crash and I'd just lose hours of work. So at that point I nearly gave up learning Unreal and I was gonna jump ship back to Unity and then I kind of, part of me wishes I'd kind of done that. But then I got my current job at a games company uh, doing their marketing and their main game, Empires of the Undergrowth, is made in Unreal Engine. So I thought, well, if I get access to the editor, I'm gonna need to be like making content and stuff. I don't wanna go away from uni, forget how to use Unreal and then just struggle when I'm trying to make content for them in like within Unreal Engine. So I went back to Udemy and this time I took a blueprint course instead. Blueprints are the visual scripting language from uh, Unreal Engine, so you don't have to manually type in all the blocks of code. There's like nodes that you drag out. And yeah, blueprints were a game changer for me. I could just get stuck into making games quickly. I didn't have to like fight C++ and like fight trying to learn this language. And this way I can continue learning C++ at my own pace, but still get to make games, which is kind of it's best of both worlds, really. Now I can prototype games quickly in Blueprint, mess around with it, kind of tweak stuff, and it, it's less prone to crashes. And then when eventually I've got a prototype that I want to move forward, hopefully I'll be in a position where I know C++ a bit better and I can refactor that code into C++, and then I've got the best of both worlds. So which would I recommend for beginners? Um, Blueprint and Unreal and C++ or Unity and C Sharp? Well, it depends on your needs. So the reasons that I would choose Unreal would be if you've got no interest in learning programming necessarily and just want to like mess around, make small games, then Blueprints is definitely the way forward. There's just a really good like tactile flow to them. And if you do something wrong, they very rarely crash the editor. I have had some Blueprint crashes, but not like not anywhere near as much as C++ crashes. And if you don't want to make games necessarily, you just want to make like nice environments, maybe you want to become a level designer in the future, then obviously the mega scans buyout is, is huge. Having access to all these like film ready, photorealistic quality assets, they're free to use even commercially, as long as they're inside the Unreal Engine. I mean, Unique can't really offer anything like that. As well as Megascans, they've got their own version of like a uh, substance painting, so you can use that for free, texture painting software. And that's fully integrated with all of the assets and materials and stuff that you will find on Megascans. 
And again, if you do want to make games and you don't mind putting them on the Epic Game Store, the fees are quite small. Epic only take a small amount of that sale if you've used Unreal Engine. So why would you choose Unity? Well, if you want to focus on programming, Unity is definitely the way forward, especially if you've got no kind of prior knowledge of programming. Once you've got your head around the like basics of C Sharp, uh, you kind of away. It's, it's really easy, really intuitive. You can kind of code stuff quite easily in uh, C Sharp. There's also so many more tutorials out there for Unity than there is for Unreal. And that, that is something that nearly pulled me back over to learn in Unity. Because if you search for a tutorial for Unreal, a lot of the time you'll find a blueprint tutorial. Um, I mean, which is great. It teaches you the logic and the kind of the systems that you're working with. But it can be quite hard to get that into C++ because you've then got to manually kind of like refactor stuff. It's less kind of follow along. Whereas with Unity tutorials, because you've only got the language C Sharp, all the tutorials are in C Sharp. So you're learning C Sharp as well as the games design sort of stuff. And the Unity Marketplace is just a lot better than the Unreal Marketplace. I mean, the Unreal Marketplace does have uh, its benefits. You get a lot of free assets, some like really high quality assets. Uh, for example, the, the game What Remains of Edith Finch, the developers have put a load of assets from that game onto the store for free now. And it's got high quality assets from like past like failed projects from Unreal. For example, Paragon, they cancelled that and then put all of the assets on the store for people to use in their own games. So yeah, if art isn't your thing, you can go onto the Unity Marketplace, get an asset pack, stick that in, use a Brachius tutorial to learn how to do something. Um, it's a lot more friendly to approach to like teach yourself. So yeah, there we have it. That's why I chose Unreal Engine over Unity. And also my recommendation of which you should choose based on your own interests. Which of the two engines do you think you'll go with? Or will you go with something else like Godot maybe? Let me know in the comments below. If you feel this video helped you out in any way, it'd be great if you could give it a thumbs up and uh, maybe consider subscribing. And if you want to join a small but growing collective of 3D artists and game devs, uh, you can join the Creative Magpie server, which is a Discord server I've set up. There's just a few of us there at the minute, but we are growing, kind of people drop in kind of every week. A link again is in the description below to that. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.